How you doing, Brian King, UK Flying TV? Uh, we're back over in Telford at Peter Jones's Carpets and Beds uh, with Dan Jones, current UK Carpet Fitter of the Year winner. Uh, all right, Dan. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah, not so bad. Uh, so, Dan, what we're doing this week? Uh, I, we're going to talk about the types, different types of carpet, aren't we? Yeah, like yeah, you've got woven, felt back, tufted. Yeah. We can talk about the backings, how they're made, yeah, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get to know what what you're going to buy, really. Is is the, the idea, isn't it? Uh, uh, well, wh what about felt back? Uh, sorry, what about foam back? We don't see yeah, foam back no, anymore. There's, there's no foam back anymore, is it? Felt felt back took over. How, how come the form stopped? Was it some chemical? Had the chemical in the manufacturer, I think, Something didn't it? Like that. But yeah, it yeah. can't have been that good with the the dust that ended up under it for your, for your health inside either. No, because we've all uplifted a foam yeah, back yeah. carpet. Do you know? I took, I took one up last week, and Did I you? hadn't took one up for years. <laughs> I hope you use a mask. Survivor, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's law now, isn't it? I have to have a mask. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, from the they went on to felt back. Uh, I, I use felt back made. Do you know? No. Don't really know. I th uh, by the look of it, it looks like that low melt backing that they use. Um, you know the one what they call the fitter friendly back, yeah, the combination yeah. backing. It looks like the felt is one of them low melt felts that they give a bit of heat to, and it bonds itself. Yeah. Um, and, and they do class it as a built-in underlay. It's yeah. like a budget. Well, budget it's basically thing. there's no underlay. Is there? I've, I've seen the odd ones. Some of the blue ones have got quite thick felt. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, they've they've really got no backing, and and nowadays I don't think there's many people who appreciate a carpet straight to the floor. Is there? No. When was the last time you did a carpet straight to the floor? Can't remember. No, no. I mean, I, we don't really do a felt back. There's so much competition in the felt back market that uh, they're not worth doing, are they? No. Uh, and, and I don't think. I mean, some of them, if it's a loop pile, can last forever, but. But basically, uh, people expecting a bit more out of a, a, a carpet off us, I think, than, yeah. than straight to the floor felt back. I did used to do lots and lots of them, but I'd like to say, the market's too fierce with them, so we we try and stick to the middle to better. Middle end. to better, yeah. 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 One thing you don't see a lot of nowadays is Hessian, uh, a lot of switch yeah. to like action backing and the plastic. Yeah, well, you, 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 you find Penthouse behind you there, is a grab, a, grab that off the top of the tombola. So, so your your penthouse carpet uses an uh, a, original traditional Hessian back, don't they? P penthouse told me that um, there's a shortage in Hessian in Bangladesh, so it's like rocketed up in price. It's more or less doubled in price. Yeah. But what penthouse have done is took the price increase on the chin uh, and not increased the price of the carpet, which I think is yeah. is really Fair good. Enough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're keeping the quality and keeping the price the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is. Because now that ev since the pandemic, everything's going. Every letter you get is a six percent increase on on stuff, isn't it? So, yeah. um, but and then most other stuff's been taken over with a, a polypropylene back and you know, like that or nylon, whatever it is, man-made back, action action back type thing. Um, Just a cheaper alternative, really, isn't it? But yeah. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, I think but. I think there's cheap and there's expensive with them, isn't there? I, I think I think that would be quite an expensive one, but there's some quite open yeah, ones, isn't yeah. there as well? Uh, it's more of a whiter colour, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what I've started seeing a lot of Dan is the it's like a, the cotton backing. A lot of switching to this cotton yeah. backing. Because uh, do they call it combination or fitter friendly? Yeah, or yeah, uh, yeah. But basically, it's your original backing. And it and it has a, the thinnest coating of a felt backing, which is quite good because it touches wallpaper and and things in houses. Yeah, it doesn't scratch in it. In yeah. it, it uh, when you're like anchoring it on the gripper, it seems to sit on the yeah. gripper. Well, I'm quite better. impressed with it. Yeah. I, I would say some stitched underlay, it's a bit of a devil to move around on, but yeah. Um, but again, I, I, I learnt the tip on that is just put your carpet down, and, uh, fold it back, and put your underlay put your under down. Yeah, after, after yeah. Well, I do that on yeah. woven yeah. if they're using a, a felt combination yeah I'll spread the carpet out peel but otherwise I'd never even I'd never even out. thought of that you know Steve Rams in the one day oh, I said sticks and he says yeah he said just lay it out fold it back I thought, and then put your underwear I thought that's so simple why didn't I think <laughs> of it yeah <laughs> and then you've got the uh, traditional woven back yeah uh, yeah so, uh, so, we, so we've got that we've got some Ulster here um, it's actually traditional woven the pile is actually woven into the back in whereas with these secondary back carpets it's a, it's a thin into back in with the pile and then the secondary back on. This is actually, the pile is woven in on a loom, isn't it, this? this yeah, yeah. So everything 
the whole carpet is put together on one machine basically isn't it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and that's a an Axminster loom or you can also have a, a Wilton which is again is woven on a, a all on the one machine uh, but you can also have what's called a Belgian Wilton which is basically a, um, a a traditional Wilton but it's completely made of uh, man-made fibres isn't it yeah it is uh, and they tend to be a lot lot more stiff as well yeah they're very nice and soft on the pile when you get them but the pile seems to go crusty and quite hard on them after a couple of years doesn't yeah, it yeah uh, and they are a pain to fit sometimes uh, I I'm not a fan of them anyway uh, I, I'm not a fan of just the way they perform really they look like they look like something that costs you £100 a metre, but they perform like something that's £17 a metre, don't yeah. they? Why do, uh, why do sh they shrink woven carpets? Oh, the, the, the traditional yeah. jute ones, uh, I just think if there's any moisture, they'll, they will shrink. Because Cause they, they're, cause they're all woven into the back, everything yeah. will yeah. Uh, and it's all man-made, uh, it's, got, it's got cotton and jute, uh, some have polypropylene in the back, um, but you'll have cotton and jute, but anywhere there's... Um, a, a, not a man-made, a natural product, um, they will shrink because basically they're woven under, under tension or twisted under tension and when they shrink they're going back to how they was before they was pulled, if, if that sounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, what about your...